This could get disgusting very soon if Joe can move in quickly. Mommy pushes in to take out everyone. That just happened. This is to tie the game. And we're back with another match of Zero Round Team Deathmatch Bomb. We are going to be on Hotel Trouble this round, and we are going to have Team Zcot starting off on offense with Team Yellow Scrub on defense. Yeah, and this match is going to be Hotel Trouble. Um, so we've got 5v5 going on here. There's a lot of, a lot of people. That, that's uh, going to be a lot of guests in this hotel. Very clever. <laughs> and this is the kind of map where you want a lot of people because uh, it's uh, there's a lot of uh, space to cover and you don't want to be running around this map using stamina too much. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to get into this hotel, uh, which is going to be very nice for being able to flank around. Uh, a lot of halls to check down. There's uh, And they're going to choose to go with the second floor conference room this time to start. So this is a really open floor. And one of the challenges of this map, too, is being able to adjust so quickly to one floor is open floor plan, but then the next round, when they choose more of a closed floor plan, uh, it's tight. So you got to be able to adjust to both very quickly. And it looks like two are going to take that the double balcony entrance, while the other two take the main entrance. Uh, Plain Eagle's going to come up on this balcony, come over very quickly, and he's going to... Ooh, he's going to see Kermit, but he's got the shotgun, so it doesn't have much range. No, he actually hit Kermit. Oh, wow. And that's going to leave three versus four on defense. Or three on defense, four on offense. And Joe just picked off Weez. <laughs> he turned over, picked off Weez, and he's got someone in the kitchen coming out. That's going to be Zcot. Zcot getting Joe on a very quick peek. The numbers are going down very quickly for this map. Oh. Zika and Joe on opposing teams. A 1v1, and they're very close to each other. Yeah, but then the leaders in uh, Season 1. But yeah, it's going to be Yellow Scrub and Zika against each other. Yellow Scrub just blindly ran past Zika, didn't even know he was there, but I think he knows now. Zika out with the pistol. <laughs> In a quick peek, I de he definitely made contact there. He's got 25 health left. Zcot's got 50, and Zcot's getting ready to throw a nade. He decides to quit on that nade. He's throwing it for a distraction, I think, and he's going to get that distraction. Yeah. Oh, but he pre-fired a little bit too, too early. Yeah, I think he was expecting Yellow Scrub to possibly go around, and so he he, he figured he would outsmart Yellow Scrub, but Yellow Scrub's just holding position. I mean, Zcock can either go for the guy. Yeah. Yellow Scrub was just so laser focused on that door. I don't know if he couldn't. Well, he clearly couldn't hear Zcock, but you just, you can't, you got to be able to be flexible. Certainly with this match, with all the doors, or not with this match, but this map, with all the, the different entries and exits, yeah, we, you got to be looking back and forth. That, that's the very first thing we talked about at the beginning of this round, is the open floor plan of the second floor, especially. And, and if you're a defender, you've got to be able to look all the angles. Yeah, as far as defense goes, I don't see too many people taking that second floor defense. I see most on the third floor, but maybe they were thinking of a little outside the box there. Yeah, that was an interesting uh, first choice, and they're going to choose it again. Um, one of the other things with the second floor, too, is is how quickly the attacking team can get there. Because you have that main entry spawn point, they rappel right up to the second floor, and then bam, you're right there in the cafeteria. And it looks like they're just going to hold a little bit uh, different angles now, but the offense is going to take the same entry. Bone Daddy coming in from the emergency entrance, and Grim is hanging off to look into the cafeteria.
Doesn't look like there's much visibility in the cafeteria right now, but Grim is just taking his time. Yeah. If he can get his eyes down towards the kitchen, he could see TGF there. And Joe is actually set up in the main entrance. Joe's in a very well-lit part of the map, but he's uh, crawling around hoping that his prone position will keep him hidden. And it's TGF in the kitchen, taking shots down that hall to the balcony. Grim seems somebody at the long end. Bone Daddy just took out Zach Manhackett. Oh, Bone Daddy actually got taken out too, so... It's not going to be a 3v4 with the... Favoring team being Zcot. Zcot's pushing in very quickly. Ooh, he canceled that grenade once he saw his teammate. <laughs> okay. Nice. That leaves Joe by himself, who was out of the all of that commotion going on. But Team Zcot's being very effective attacking. All enemies oh, he was Joe kind of peeked out very quickly. Yeah. I mean, he, he was kind of aware, it seemed, that somebody was upstairs and shot down a Grim, but the rest of Team Zcot was right behind him, having to peek right. That there's, yeah, it wasn't a good situation. And that's going to put Team Zcot up 2-0. to zero. And it looks like, wow, Zcot. Zcot's really jumping out of the gate with five kills and zero deaths now. Yeah, he's already gotten enough kills to take out the entire Yellow Scrub team. And uh, on Team Yellow Scrub, Joe is right now the best they've got with only three kills, six kills total for the team. They're choosing the fourth floor this time. That's uh, probably it's the one bit... I would have started with, honestly, in my opinion. Yeah, it's a little bit safer of a defensive position. Let's see, that's going to be wedged in there. And for the attackers, looks like two are going to take that climb up. Weez! A quick spot. To take out Joe, too. The, Joe is their best guy that they got right now. That's a that's a, not a small takeout at all. No, that's going to be huge for them. And it looks like Weeze and another person are going to be on that top floor. They're going to be looking down that long hallway, and that's going to be great for that scar. Yeah, you also saw that uh, Team Zcot is in on the balcony already in 304. Um, so Team Zcot's going to take control of the fourth floor pretty quick, it seems. They've got the whole team on the objective floor, and they're pushing in quickly. Uh, Zach Manhack is just kind of a no man's land, and he gets taken out by Plain Eagle. Kermit and Yellow Scrub just trying to hold the same position and it does not work out for them. They were in the, the same spot and Zcot came in very quickly and took them out. Yeah, th th this map is wide. It's got a lot uh, on that fourth floor, a lot of uh, obstacles for cover. I think they really should have been more spread out than they, than they were. Uh, they, the fact that they were so clumped up into that one spot allowed Team Yellow Scrub, uh, or sorry, Team Zcot to just push in there and take out Team Yellow Scrub. Uh, just, just not enough areas covered. You saw that they came in from the front, down the long hall. They came in from the balcony, and you know that's just a lot of trouble when you when you let them get in like that. Yeah, with the fourth floor, you you of course want somebody to be on the objective, but you also want people to be in each of the rooms that are available, and maybe somebody watching the staircase. Yeah, absolutely, and we've already seen people like like Glummy take out people in the middle of the hall just with good positioning. Was not able to pull that off, but they're gonna uh, get a chance to attack now, and Team Zcot will choose that fourth floor to defend. It's certainly not a bad decision to choose it again. It's it's a good floor to defend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, that's really what Team Zcot or uh, Team Yellow Scrub should have done first, and Team Zcot is gonna choose that that for for their first defense. But they really should have locked that down right away. Get the get the point. That's the number one objective is get the point. Right. But they're going to switch sides now, and we'll see if uh, that switch 
can have a little bit of a different effect on them. Mm. Yellow scrubs lose and, their Kermit. Yeah. yeah. That's certainly not going to help them out. There seems to be two on that balcony that Bone Daddy's watching. Bone Daddy's just holding that. Oh, and that's a good angle to hold, but he does not get the kill. Mac 10 problems. Yeah. You can only hold on to that trigger for so much. Uh, and he is going to get support. Seacott does get a kill. And it looks like there is an offender. Oh! Well, uh, a quick back to back, a refrag. And. Grim actually ended up uh, taking out two. He threw a frag out. That you know, Grim is just so unbelievable with nades. I, I it's it's so impressive just to see how uh, all the kills that he gets from them. Like you you you'll regularly see him have low damage and high kills because of the way the scoreboard works. But uh, yeah, he's definitely deadly with those, and uh, that's going to be another contributing factor into Team Zcot's lead here. Might be going for that's the sweep. Be, yeah, that's going to be four for Team Zcot to Team Yellow Scrub's zero. So Team Yellow Scrub really needs to uh, make some huge decisions here to come back. Deploying in ten seconds. Yeah, they're going to have to figure it out, and they, you know, they're going to choose Team Zcot's going to choose the second floor conference room, and maybe that might be something oh, that yeah. works for Team Yellow Scrub. Uh, they kind of didn't seem to have such good. Organization spread out, and Zcot took out Zach Manhacket already. TGS pushing up on that main gate very quickly. Yeah, the Joe. spread out assault on the second floor open floor plan that might actually work out here for Yellow Scrub. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how they move in there. Even though they're down a man already, they sh could pull it off with the way that they got it surrounded. Looks like they're going to try to maybe take the floor above and come in from the top, which is not a bad decision either. Yeah, TGF is watching from the front, and uh, one of Team Zcot has exposed themselves down below. And Team Yellow Scrub sees that. That is actually Yellow Scrub himself seeing that. TGF getting in a spray battle with the Scar. And it's still four to five. Z Cap took out TGF. And Joe took out Wheeze. They've really got that staircase styled in. That's not a very good place to come in, especially if you're stacked up on one another. That can be a, a horrible position to be in when a grenade comes in. Yeah. Yellow Scrub and Joe are on opposite staircases, and Grim takes out Joe with the frag. That's going to leave Yellow Scrub in a tight spot here. Yeah. Yellow Scrub taking no time to peek that door, and it is not a good decision because Plain Eagle gets him very quickly. But Kermit is, he's still a floor above. He's creeping around. He's taking his time. Not a bad not a bad decision here. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I guess. <laughs> I guess he's just going to throw it. Uh, well, that's going to complete the sweep for Team Zcot. And uh, Zcot will get the MVP in this round. Uh, I mean,. The, the 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 numbers, the numbers, man. Like a team yellow scrub, this totally ineffective is the is the only words to describe what happened here. Yeah, I guess uh, Kermit decided you got to know when to fold him, and he decided to fold. But yeah. Z got with eleven kills. He plays no games. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's unfortunate how that played out. But uh, Z Cot will be number one on season two. Uh, not exactly unfamiliar territory for him and getting up there to the top already. Plain Eagle is no. up at second with 12. Joe with seven and third. Yellow Scrub with seven and fourth. And you have the rest on your screen. Well, if you want to join the Zero Cup tournament, then the place to be is the Zero Cup Discord.
And to get to the Zero Cup Discord, you got to check the link in the description below. It's right there. Click it. So convenient. You get in. You can find all the information that you want to register to get details on how the event's going to unfold for April 2nd and 3rd and 4th if necessary and where to watch. So stay tuned here. Subscribe. Get the notification bell so that you can find out when all the matches are being uploaded and we'll catch you in the next match.